Hello everyone, how are you? I hope all of you are doing really good. So this is a very important video for all the CA intermediate students who are preparing for May 2024 or onward attempts, right? Whether you are preparing for May 24 or November 24, sorry, November 24, CA intermediate might not be there, right? I can say September 24 or January 25 now because of the expected change in the patterns that is almost for sure going to happen, right? So I will rub here November 24. I will not here uh, write November 24. I will write September 24. Let's do it from right now. Okay, so official word is still awaited from the ICAI on that. But yes, here in this video, we are going to discuss that what is going to be the question paper pattern for cost accounting paper number four. So please do watch the video till the end. It is going to be helpful in your preparation and understand how you will be attempting the paper, right? So first and the foremost thing, this paper is going to be for 100 marks. And the same pattern, you will be getting three hours for attempting the paper. That means you will need a lot of practice to attempt all the questions in these three hours. Now, this question paper has been divided into two segments, right? Section A, Section A and Section B. Section A will be for 30 marks. Section A will be for 30 marks and Section B will be for 70 marks. This is going to be the pattern. Under Section A, what is going to be asked in these 30 marks, you will get MCQs. Now, uh, what type of MCQs can be there? One thing, case scenario based. Case based means in the paper of cost accounting, what do you mean by the case based scenario? The case scenario question means you will be given a practical problem. For example, it's a cost sheet problem and they will ask you what will be the prime cost? What will be the cost of production? What will be the cost of sale? There will be four options, one mark each, no negative marking, direct 30 marks MCQ or a direct MCQ can also be asked on any of the concepts, be it a theory concept or anything, right? Coming to section B. Now, how the section B is going to be uh, arranged in that 70 marks, what will you get? Sir, total you will get six questions, right? Six questions. In that six questions, question number one will be compulsory question, right? Now, this will be for 14 marks, 14 marks. Rest out of the remaining five questions attempt any four question. That means you are going to get the option here, right? Attempt any four questions, each question for 14 marks. How these 14 marks are going to be arranged, that will depend upon the institute. 14 marks can be 8 plus 6. It can be 5 plus 5 plus 4. It can be a 9 mark question plus a 4 marks question. So it will purely depend upon the institute. Uh, they can go for 554 to cover more number of chapters, right? So it is, uh, that means you cannot leave even a single chapter, right? And in these questions, in the these five questions, the remaining five questions out of which you have to attempt four questions, there will be practical plus theory question. There will be a theory question of 14 marks. Earlier you, uh, you were getting a theory for 20 marks. Now you will be getting a theory question for 14 marks, which you can skip also, uh, which you can uh, leave it out in the optional. That is totally your choice. The rest of the part will be practical. And question number one, uh, this section A, MCQs, that is compulsory, 30 marks. Uh, in the second segment, question number one will be compulsory for 14 marks and the rest you will get uh, out of six questions, you have out of the remaining five questions, sorry, you have to attempt any four questions. Each question will be of 14 marks, A, B section, nine and five marks or A, B, C uh, segment in a particular question. It can be like in this particular segment, it can be like question number one, uh, question number two, sorry, A part, five marks, B part, five marks, C part, four marks. So it can be arranged in any of the ways. This is going to be the paper pattern for you for paper number four cost accounting. I hope all of you are absolutely ready for it. 
right? All of you are preparing it really well. All those who are preparing it for my YouTube channel because the whole course is there on the of the cost accounting concept part is there on the YouTube channel and there are many students who are preparing for the regular courses which were there, right? And if you want to prepare the MCQs, the MCQ books are available. If you are preparing from the YouTube, the handbooks you can order from our website. Uh, there is a lot of content that you can really prepare. So do share with all your uh, friends also. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and share with all your uh, friends this video because this is an important information lot of students were asking bahut sare bachche pichle samay mein pooch rahe the ki sir paper pattern kaise rehne wala hai so this is the pattern that you will be getting in the examination uh, and the coverage definitely institute is going to cover almost each and every chapter so do not ask me which chapter is going to be important sir each and every chapter is going to be important and you have to cover each and everything sab kuch cover kar not even a single thing we are going to leave right so i hope this video is informative for you maza aaya hoga is video mein achi information mili hai and uh, kuch na kuch mindset banta hai ki sir ha is tarah se humko preparation karni hai uh, that means we cannot leave anything out there and the mcqs are going to be really interesting if it is going to be the practical mcqs and we will be sharing a few on the youtube community so please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and Keep a check on the community tab because we are posting a lot of useful information there. And also do subscribe to our Telegram, Telegram, Telegram. Okay, so see you guys in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy, keep studying, keep sharing. Thank you so much.